In this video, we're going to go over the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 Combining Like Terms Worksheet. In this video, I'm going to go over the practice problems number 1 through 20. Now in number 1, we can combine negative 6k and 7k together with addition. Think about it this way. 7k is really k plus k. It's k added to itself essentially seven times. So you have seven k's all added together. That is 7k. Now note the first term is a negative 6k. A positive plus a negative is the same as subtracting that positive. So we can rewrite this a 7k minus a 6k. So we're taking away six of these k's. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be left with one k, or simply k. So k is our answer to number one. Let me go over one other way to look at problem one. We know the answer is k. I'll go ahead and rewrite that and box it since we know that's what our answer is. If you notice in each of these terms, in the first term we have a k, and in the second term we have a k. We can reverse the distributive property and just pull that k out of each term. So then we would have k times negative 6 plus 7. That would be k times negative 6 plus 7 is 1, and k times 1 is simply k. So that's another way to think about problem 1. Let's go on to 2. 2 has 12r minus 8 minus 12. There's only one term with an r in it, so we're going to leave this term as it is, but we can combine the 8 and the 12. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as 12r plus a negative 8, since subtracting a positive is the same as adding a negative, plus a negative 12. Again, we're still combining the negative 8 and the negative 12. So this is going to give us 12r plus negative 8 plus negative 12 is negative 20. Rewriting that, we will get 12r minus 20 as the answer for number 2. In number 3, we have 1n, since 1 times n is n, and we also have 9n. So we can combine these two terms, and we can also combine this 10 with this 3. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite this all as addition, though, before I start combining the terms. So this is going to be n plus a negative 10 plus 9n plus a negative 3. Again, we're combining the n's, and we're going to combine numbers that are not coefficients. So n plus 9n is going to give us 10n, since 1 plus 9 is 10, times n is 10n. Negative 10 plus negative 3, we're going further into the negative, so that's going to be a negative 13. Rewriting this, we will get 10n minus 13. And that's our answer for number 3. Number 4, we're combining negative 4x and a positive 10x, but we're really subtracting this 10, so we can rewrite that as a negative 4x plus a negative 10x. So we're combining a negative 4x and a negative 10x. Let's go ahead and pull each of these x's out so you can see that again. So we're going to have x times negative 4 plus negative 10. That's going to be x times negative 4 plus negative 10 is negative 14. And since multiplication is commutative, we're going to have negative 14x. For number 5, we're going to combine a negative r and if we change this to adding a negative as opposed to subtracting the positive, a negative 10r. So this is the same as saying negative 1r plus negative 10r. So negative 1 plus negative 10 is going to be negative 11 times r. 
So negative 11 R. Number six, we're going to combine the negative 2X and the positive 6X. And the 11 is going to remain by itself. Negative 2X plus 6X is 4X. And then we still have plus 11. 4X plus 11. For number seven, we're combining 11R minus 12R. So we have a positive 11R and we're taking away 12R. That's going to leave us with negative 1R, which is simply negative R. Number eight, we have negative V plus 12V. Negative V is the same thing as negative one times V. Adding that to 12V, we're going to increase the value of that negative one. So we're starting at negative one and increasing it by 12 to bring us to a positive 11 V. Number nine, we have a negative eight X and we're going further in the negative direction, taking away 11 more. So negative eight X plus a negative 11 X or simply minus 11 X. It's going to bring us to negative 19 X. Number 10, we have 4P, so let me go ahead and write this out, P plus P plus P plus P, and we're adding two more P to that, so plus P plus P. Total, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 P, so 4P plus 2P is 6P. For number 11, we have 5n combined through addition with 11n. So 5 plus 11 is going to bring us to 16. So 5n plus 11n is going to bring us to 16n. For number 12, combining the n's, we're going to do n minus 5n. So we're taking away from that n. So n minus a 5n is going to leave us at a negative 4n. And we're also taking this positive 4 and subtracting 9. That's going to leave us with a negative 5. We can rewrite this as negative 4n minus 5. We're combining 12r and 3r. So 12r plus 3r is going to bring us to 15r. And then we have a positive five minus five. So you can think of this as a positive five plus a negative five, or think of this as five minus five, which is going to give us zero. 15 R plus zero is 15 R. And the last one on this front page, negative five plus nine N plus six. There's no other term with n, so the 9n is going to remain by itself, but we have a negative 5 and 6 that we need to combine. Negative 5 plus 6 is going to be a positive 1. So for number 14, we're going to have 1 plus 9n. Moving on to the next page, page number 2, we're going to do 15 through 20 now. Number 15 is n minus 4 minus 9. So we have this n value, we're taking away 4, and then we're taking away 9. n is going to stay by itself since there's no other term with n, but we're combining this 4 and 9. But note that this 4, if we were to change everything to addition, is a negative 4, and this 9 is a negative 9. So negative 4 plus a negative 9 is going to be a negative 13. So this is going to be n plus negative 13, which we can rewrite as n minus 13. 16, we have 4n and we're taking away an n. And that's one single n that we're taking away. So 4n minus 1n, let me go ahead and write this one out, n plus n plus n plus n because that's 4n, but then we're taking away 1n. That we know is going to leave us with a positive 3n for number 16. 
Number 17, we're going to combine this negative 3x with the positive 15x. And then once we combine that, we're going to subtract a 9. So negative 3x plus 15x is going to leave us with 12x minus 9. Number 18, we're combining negative 9k and 8k through addition. So negative 9 plus 8, you can think of this. If you wanted to pull the k out of each term, it would be negative 9 plus 8 times k. Negative 9 plus 8 is a negative 1, so that's going to be a negative 1 times k, which is simply a negative k. 19. We have negative 16n minus 14n. So we're going further in the negatives when we take away 14n from that negative 16n. So negative 16n plus a negative 14n is going to be equal to negative 30n. And finally, the last problem we're going to do in this video, number 20, 15n minus 19n. So we have 15n and we're taking away 19n. If you want to, we can rewrite this as 15n plus a negative 19n. So that will leave us with a negative 4n. In the next video, we'll continue on and do problems 21 through 30. And you're going to notice in those problems, we're going to be using the distributive property a lot. But for now, give me a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel.